I'm Antine Knapp, Assistant Curator of Paintings at the Museum of Fine Arts Boston. The musicians from the Handel and Haydn Society are performing their concert in front of the enormous painting by Gerard von Honthorst, titled The Triumph of the Winter Queen. Who was the Winter Queen? Elizabeth Stewart was Queen of Bohemia for just one season, before she and her husband were deposed. They fled to the safety of the Protestant Netherlands. There she established a court in The Hague and was a patron of the visual arts and of music. She commissioned this painting in 1636 to show all the family members, living and deceased, unified to regain their lost kingdom. She's serious about this. The Winter Queen is the one on the chariot drawn by lions. Thank you. 
This boy is playing a recorder. He's concentrating on his task, getting the fingering right, generating a steady stream of air. But he's also relaxed, his arm slung rather jauntily over the upper corner of the chair. The painting is not just about making music, it's also about the act of listening. In fact, it's part of a group of the five senses. This depicts the sense of hearing in a vivid way. The set was made around 1650 by a painter from Brussels, Michaelina Vautier. Her work was forgotten for centuries and she was only rediscovered in the past few years.
I'm Christopher Atkins, the Von Arteloo Weatherby Director of the Center for Netherlandish Art at the Museum of Fine Arts Boston. Jan Mainsa Molinar's Figures by a Virginal in an Interior centers on domestic music making. Music featured prominently in the personal lives of the well-to-do Dutch citizenry. Performing music was an enjoyable pastime and an opportunity to build social ties and express status. The artist depicted Rucker Virginal in exacting naturalistic detail to add believable texture to the scene and to convey that the household could claim ownership of such a luxury object. In Dutch paintings, music also operated as a way to communicate interpersonal harmony, in this case, among the female members of a family. I'm Bobby Giglio, the Pappalardo Assistant Curator for Musical Instruments here at the Museum of Fine Arts, Boston. As artifacts, musical instruments have a lot to teach us. We can learn not only about the time period in which they were created, but also the entire period of their use. For this instrument, a virginal, a type of harpsichord, its life extends 401 years from 1620 to today. It was created by a member of the renowned Rutgers family of harpsichord makers in Antwerp. Then in the 18th century, its range was expanded to accommodate music making of the day. Finally, in 1906, Arnold Dolmetsch, just here in Boston, saw this object as an artifact and he restored it using his research. Now we get to hear this instrument today, and I'm terribly excited about it. Mein Freund, wir sehen hat ein End. Mein Freund, wir sehen hat ein End. 